All right, it's been about four months since we did the uh, Schwinn electric kickback conversion and uh, we did some testing, some tuning, and I'll uh, update y'all with uh, what's going on with it now. All right, so we got the, uh, we got, uh, we call this uh, the land yacht, the thing's huge. We got a E-Cruiser Deluxe now, 36 volt model, and here's the uh, the one we actually built four months ago. This is our uh, our demo model. So uh, I'll pull it out and then uh, we'll check out uh, some specs on that thing. All right, there's been a few changes. Uh, we started out with a uh, just a, a battery, and then they had the uh, speed controller. It was big, it was bulky in the way. Uh, no digital display, LCD, nothing. Uh, that kind of went out the gate. Came up with a great solution. It only took about a month to get the parts from China. All right, let's check it out. All right, so first thing uh, we got a, this speed controller is actually kind of small, fits in this bag. And then uh, below deck we have minimalist possible uh, pan to hold the battery. Awesome, obviously a standard 36 volt. Oh, let's go this side and make it back. 36 volt, 20 inch wheel, pretty standard stuff. But uh, here is the new upgraded LCD, LCD display that literally has five gears, speeds, I guess you could say it maintains at each different one. And this baby also comes with uh, cruise control. So once you hit the uh, speed you desire, keep your throttle steady for five seconds and uh, cruise control kicks in. Yeah, so here's the, uh, the demo model. This one actually, uh, this one currently is 53 volts. I'm testing out a 48 volt battery option for it. Obviously there's no speed controller above deck. That's how good we got it. But the pan is uh, kind of deep. That's not a lot of ground clearance. So uh, the no fat chicks, uh, kick bike will scrape. All right, another uh, nice feature that we actually built into these is uh, right down here. Uh, charge port. You just plug in and go. You don't have to take anything apart, no extra wires. Turned out pretty nice. So on this demo model one here we built, um, this actually got a, uh, a deeper pan. Then the uh, 36, I'm, we're testing out a 48V setup to maximize, uh, obviously uh, run low on ground clearance, but we got, let's check this out, so how many miles we got on this baby, and we got, oh, 400 miles racked up on it so far, it's not too shabby, only had one slight issue, uh, you can kind of see the handlebars here, yeah, uh, it was about a 5 mile an hour wreck, it, like an endo. But this one also, LCD, we got bam, five speeds. We're gonna take this puppy out for a ride today and see what she does. All right, we got the rear elevated and uh, I wanna show you uh, how the little gear shifter speedy thing works. So first off, we're gonna get it spinning. All right, first gear does seven-ish. Crank to second gear. Remember, this is no load. It doesn't do 20 miles an hour in third gear. Sure doesn't do 29 in fourth gear. This does not do 34 miles an hour BTW. But if you watch next to that three, There it is, cruise control's on. Nothing on the throttle, wheel's spinning. Bam, gotta love it. This way you can uh, set the cruise control and ride one-handed or for no hands.
I wasn't too bad of a run. Let's, uh, let's check this, uh, how many miles we got on this baby. Looks like we had like a, uh, a 6.2 mile run. We got uh, 407 miles on this puppy now. Let's check out what's on the inside. All right, so inside uh, one of these here, we got the uh, speed controller. I am. That's in the little bag. Got the display, which is up on that one, and then the battery. I am. Pretty simple. And then have it all connect to the charge port down here. That's pretty much what makes this puppy run. All right. Well, that's been fun. Nah, time for a nice cold one here. Oh yeah, that'll do. Bam.